Hello, Leticia. Welcome. How are you, Leti? Hello, so 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 so. Why so so? Más o menos, un poquito cansada, pero ah, ah me imagino. Ahí estamos. Me imagino. Sí. Sí, este es uno de esos días así como que ah, un poquillo cansado. Y es que me ha tocado un poquito pesado los tres, los tres días seguidos quedarme hasta las ocho en horas Ay, extra. Híjole. Sí, ahí sí Ajá, está fregado. Y, y todavía falta mañana. Ah, oh, my God. No, sí está. Así sí está fregado. Sí, porque todavía mañana. Ay, no. Sí. Sí, ni moda, pero ya se va a acabar la semana, primero Dios. Sí, pero primero Dios que sí. Y mañana, pero ya, yeah, you are very punctual today, very, very punctual. <laughs> yeah, it was, no, that's good. It's good because you can have the chance at least to connect first, right? And to be the first one. I am fighting with my connection. Let's see. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, Tati. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you, Tati? Hello, everybody. Hello, Ilse. Well, it's a pleasure to have all of you here and for sure to have the opportunity to have another class and another way of learning right together. Today we are going to do a wrap up of everything. We are going to be working on the platform. We are going to check on the things that we have done. And for sure, we are going to practice a couple of sentences, right? We are going to practice a couple of what we have been studying on the grammar, okay? So that's what we are going to do. It is a great happiness to have you here. We were talking with Leti that she was very tired. Ahí estábamos hablando con Leti que está cansada, yes. El día viernes de cansancio. Pero ya mañana solo mediodía y ya. Ready. Do you work tomorrow? ¿Los demás trabajan mañana o no? No, oh, so that, that's very good. At least that's an advantage. Give me one second. I need to fix something. Okay. So I need you please to check on what we did yesterday. Revisen lo que hicimos el día de ayer. That's what we are going to do right now. To check what we studied yesterday. What do you remember from yesterday? ¿Qué recuerdan de lo que vimos ayer? Uh -huh. What do you remember from yesterday? Sentences, phrases, anything that you remember from yesterday? Mm. 
Nothing? Eh, solo, bueno, yo recuerdo las preposiciones del lugar. Ok, prepositions of place. What do you remember from the prepositions of place? ¿Qué recuerdas de las prepositions? Eso como para dar una indicación. Ok, just to give an indication. Do you have an example of a prepositions of place? Uh, between. Between, very good. Uh, Ajá, what else? Los demás, ayúdenle ahí a Joana. Between. In front of. In front of, what else? Between, in front of. Ajá. Uh -huh. Between, in front of. Next to. Next to. What else? Behind. Behind. Very good. What else? Between, in front of, next to, behind. Between, across from, right? Across from, al cruzarse de. Okay, so that's on what we, corner. on the corner of. On the corner of, right? Remember that one, right? We were also studying there is and there are. <clears throat> so what we are going to do right now, I need you please to think about the things that you have in your house. Look at the things that you have around. Look at your surroundings. And I need you to give me sentences with there is and there are. For example, I can say that here next to me, there is a cell phone. Okay, there is a cell phone. Uh, there is a mouse. There is a, a, a cup. Right, there is a cup next to me. What else? Cosas en singular, me dicen there is. Cosas en plural, there are. Por ejemplo, tengo, I have two USBs, right? I have two USBs. I have, well, there are a lot of cards. There are a lot of cards. I have a lot of cards here. What do you have next to you that you can use with sentences with there is and there are? ¿Qué tienen? ¿Qué objetos tienen alrededor que me puedan ocupar para decirme oraciones con there is and there are? Ajá. Uh -huh. Show me objects that you have around using there is and there are. There is an eraser. There is an eraser. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. What else? There is a banana. There is a banana. Excellent. For the for the snack. Okay. Para el snack. With there is and with there are. Okay. I am going to make the two uh, the two spaces, right? There is and there are. Remember that with there is, you can say there is a, there is an. Okay, and there are, you can say, there are some, there are many, there are a couple, there are a lot of, okay? So you can have all these options. It is not necessary that you use them because you can say there are 
three. There are four. Okay, and you can give me the number. So you can use it just like that. Okay. <laughs> Creí que estaba temblando y es la Kiara rascándose. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cosas de las que se van a reír después. There is and there are. With there are, if you want to tell me that there are some, hay algunos, you can say there are some. Hay muchos. There are many. Hay unos cuantos. Un par de. There are a couple. There are a lot of. Teacher, there are a lot of. Un montón. There are three. There are four. There are two. There are three, four, five, six, seven. Depending on the number that you want to give me. If, for example, I am talking about the cards, imagínense que yo estuviera hablando de las cartas, and I will show you, for example, I will give you two examples. Okay, I will give you the first example like this. Okay. With this one, <clears throat> ¿qué respuesta me darían ustedes? Yo les enseño solo estas. There are a couple. Mm, there are, ¿cuántas tengo nada más? There are. Two. There are two there are cards. Two. There are two cards, ¿ok? A couple es como unas cuantas, ¿ok? Unas cuantas, ya si yo les mostrara, por ejemplo, así, vea. Uh, there are a couple of cards, right? Unas cuantas. Pero si les muestro esto, what would be the sentence? There are a lot of exactly like cards. that. There are a lot of cards. And if I do this, there is a card. Very good. Oh, yeah. There is a card. So those are the examples, right? In this one, I am going to write the one with only one. There is a card. There is a card and here I am going to write the other example. There are many cards. Okay. So think about the objects that you have around. Think about the objects that you have next to you. And I need you to write more sentences or I need you to show me the objects and give me sentences, okay? There is a card, there are many cards, there are two cards. Give me examples, okay? Busquen objetos, ¿qué tienen ahí alrededor? Busquen cosas que tengan y me las muestran. Usando there is or there are. Uh -huh. Show me the objects and open your microphone. Open your microphone and tell me. With the object for sure, right? Uh -huh. there, there is a car. There is? A card. A card, right? There is a card. And did you show me the object? Show me the object. Muéstrame el objeto. There you go. Okay. Another example. <laughs> the little car, an orange car. Un carro naranja. What is another example? Okay, I will stop uh, this. There is a chocolate. There is a chocolate box. Okay, there is a chocolate box. Hay una bolsa de chocolate, right? There is a chocolate box. Ya encontramos el secreto de Joana. Ajá. Y la mamá sabe dónde estarán los chocolates que traje. <laughs> There is a chocolate box. What is another example? Show me something and give me the example. 
There is a notebook. There is a notebook. And the notebook, right? You show me the notebook. Ilse, go ahead. There is a cup. There is a cup. I have one too. Go ahead. Yay. <laughs> With my song. There you have. There is a cup. Good. El café que será café helado a las nueve. Example. Mr. Christian, something that you have there? There is a hot salsa. There is a hot salsa. There is a okay, a bottle of salsa. There is a bottle of salsa. Very good. Well, in that case, that's a bottle of chili. Uh, there are two notebooks. There are two notebooks. Very good job. Right, you have the two. Excellent. What else? Give me another example. Who am I missing? Mr. Jose, give me one example. <laughs> hey, uh huh? But I cannot listen to you. No te escuché porque tu micrófono está apagado. There is a Sonic. There is a Sonic. In that case, you can say that it's a stuffed animal. A stuffed animal. It is. Okay, that's a name. Eso, así se llaman. Se llaman stuffed animals. Son animales de peluche. It's a stuffed animal. That's a Sonic. Hey, it looks very nice, right? Está bien chivo. Very good. So those are there is uh -huh. a pen. There is a pen. Very good. There is a pen. Another example. There are three pencils. There are three pencils. Very good. There are three pencils. Excellent. There are. There is a USB. Yes. There are a three cards. Okay. There are three. No decimos a. Ah, there are three ah. cards. And Ok, ¿por qué? Porque en plural ya no ocupamos a y an. Y entonces ahí como tenemos tres, there are three cards. Nice, all the toys, right? Mamá, aquí te traje otro y otro y otro y otro. Mientras termina la clase, termina con 100 carritos. There are three cards. Excellent. So, what we are going to do now, I am going to show you a couple of exercises. And I am going to open the manual. Give me a second. I'm going to open the manual for us to have it, okay? Let me see. Okay, ayer me enviaron todos la foto de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Yes or no? No, teacher, no. Ok, so, así que si no lo hemos terminado, porfa, terminémoslo para poder enviar sus notas. I know many of you have 100, right? But I need it. Ok. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, I will open the manual. Yesterday I told you to investigate about adjectives. Did you have the chance to investigate about adjectives? Did you investigate about adjectives? ¿Pudieron investigar acerca de los adjetivos?
yes or no. Ajá. What examples do you have? ¿Qué ejemplos me tiene? Eh, las, los ejemplos que tengo son como ejemplo is hot, is so, uh -huh. eh, she's sad, uh -huh. eh, she's hungry, yeah, very eh, good. Um, it's big, it's big, how, um, um, it's poor, okay. she's hungry, he is hungry, very good, he's, uh, uh, he's small, he's small, okay, um, what else? Eh, los normales son war, may, call, dance, travel, look, walk, play, hear, sleep, okay. close, bring, uh -huh. jump, cook, kiss, and yes, swim. Those are, uh, well, the most common adjectives that you have, right? Adjectives. Adjectives are useful to describe people, right? You use adjectives to describe people and how they look or how they are. And in this case, we are going to work on the adjectives. Let me just open the presentation of the adjectives. And I am going to show you, and I am very sorry that my camera is off, but my internet is not really good right now. I am still waiting for my friends from Tigo. Sigo esperando a mis amiguitos de Tigo. So, here I have it. The adjectives. The different adjectives are the ones that you use to describe something. If you tell me an adjective to describe El Salvador, what adjective will it be? ¿Con qué adjetivo describirías nuestro país? If I say, aha. Uh -huh, I want to know about El Salvador. How is it? Como es? What will you use to describe the country? Would you say that the country is big, that the country is small, that the country is beautiful, ugly? How is El Salvador? El Salvador eh, is small, uh -huh. eh, but is is a beautiful country. Okay, El Salvador is a small, but it is beautiful. That's nice, right? El Salvador is a small, but beautiful. What else could you use to describe the country? El Salvador is... Is safe. Is what? El Salvador is safe. Safe, right? El Salvador if is safe. And it's true, right? El Salvador is a safe country now because you can go and visit different places that yeah, that before we couldn't do, right? So El Salvador is safe. It's big. No, it's small and beautiful. Safe, small, and beautiful. What else? Is it cold or hot? Uh -huh. Is El Salvador cold or hot? Oh. It's hot. It's hot, right? El Salvador is hot. What else? What about the, the people in El Salvador? What about the ladies? Are the ladies ugly or beautiful? Beautiful. For sure they are beautiful, right? They are very beautiful. And what about the boys? Are they handsome ugly. or ugly? Ugly, go on. No, they are they are very handsome people. Ay. No hable yeah, mal, no hable mal del pueblo, hombre. So, El Salvador, it's a beautiful country. Men are very beautiful, very, very handsome. Not very beautiful, right? 
very handsome. So, let's see. How are, oh no, sorry. How is the food in El Salvador? How is the food in El Salvador? Expensive. Oh, expensive. <laughs> That's good, yeah. So the food is expensive, but it is delicious, right? The food is expensive, but delicious. Definitely. Very expensive, but delicious. What else? What other definition do you have for our country? El Salvador is? Okay, so we have, it's hot, it's small, the girls are beautiful, the men are handsome, the food is expensive, the food is delicious. Uh, what about the streets in El Salvador? ¿Cómo son las calles? The streets are horrible. No. Dirty. Dirty. The streets oh, are dirty. No sé right? Dirty. Dirty. The streets are dirty, she says. Okay. Hmm. The streets are dirty. So that's good, right? We have the definition for. Uh, the different forms of sentences. Let's do a little practice, okay? I am going to show you a picture first. Okay, le voy a mostrar primero una foto. And then, yes, here, and this one, okay. Let me show you the picture first. And you are going to tell me what objects do you see on the picture or what do you see in the picture? There is or there are. What things can you observe in the picture? Now you can see it. There is, there are. Analyze it. What can you see on the picture? With uh, there is the, and there are. Uh -huh. There are two umbrellas. There are two umbrellas, right? There are two umbrellas. What else? ¿Qué más hay ahí? There is a, a screen. There is a swimming pool. There is a swimming pool. Yeah, it's like a little pond, but it's okay. Pond, se llaman los charcos estos, los lagunitas, se llaman pond. There is a pond. What else? ¿Qué más ven en la foto? There is a room. There is a room. Okay, a runner. Okay, una corredora. There is a runner. Mm -hmm. There is a runner. What else? There is a Mr. Frank Lerner. There is a Mr. Frank, yes. But it's exactly objects. How would you say that one? Si yo les digo, díganme cosas, objetos o situaciones con Mr. Frank, ¿qué podríamos decir? There is a man over a car. There is a man over a car. Hay un hombre encima del carro. There is a man over a car. What about the next one? Uh, there is a tiger. There is a tiger, good. Thank you, Antonio, for the pictures of the adjectives. There is a tiger. There is a man on a car. There is a duck. There is a duck. Duck. 
a duck good on the pond right what about the rest let me see tati ilse christian leti leticia ortiz what do you see on the picture hay tantos objetos teacher una pregunta ajá en el caso de la lluvia sería there are or there is okay there is rain there is porque es incontable Okay. En las cuestiones incontables sería con A y N, pero en este caso como es una situación, es un grupo, es una, un objeto intangible, incontable. Bueno, intangible no porque sí lo podemos tocar. Incontable porque tenemos un montón, decimos there is rain. No podemos decir there is a rain porque no es solo una gotita. There is rain. What else? There is... There are two uh -huh. bicycles. There are two bicycles, right? There are two bicycles. Bicycle. Very good. There are two bicycles. What else? Tenemos un montón de cosas. Mira lo que tenemos aquí, lo que tenemos aquí, lo que tenemos aquí, eh, lo que tiene la señora aquí, lo que lleva ella. Ajá. This one, it's a the big one. This one. This one. What are those? These ones. There is a duck. There is a duck. Uh huh. There is a duck. What about this one? How would you call this one? There are flowers. flowers. There are flowers, tal vez estas. There are flowers. Pero ¿y estas qué son? Flowers. There are mm. How do you call them in general to these ones? <laughs> There are plants. Plants, right? There are plants. Estas yeah. todas las otras que no son flores son plantas. plants. What about this one? The big there, one. There is a tree. There is a tree. Very good. What about this one? ¿Cómo se llama esto? There is a, the one that you put on your hand. There is a hat, 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 right? There is a hat. <clears throat> hat is uh, sombrero. Uh-huh. Eh, sería, eh, there are three hats. There are three hats, right? Because you have one here, one here, and one over here. There are three hats. Excellent. Nice sentence. Very good. There are three hats. And I am going to show you another picture. Le voy a mostrar otra foto. In this one. What objects can you see on this one? Uh -huh. What can you see on this picture? There is a sofa. There is a sofa. Very good. There is a radio. There is a radio. Excellent. There, there is bag. There is a bag. Okay. There is a bag. Where there is, is, it? There. is a notebook. There yeah. is a notebook. Very good. Here. There are two windows. There are two windows. Excellent. There are three pictures. There are three pictures. Very good. What do you use to take pictures? What 
What is something that you use to take pictures? Uh -huh. What do you use? What do you use there to is take a, There is a camera. There is a camera. Very good job. There is a camera. There is a wallet. There is a wallet. There is a camera. The ones that you put on your eyes. There are? Sunglasses. Sunglasses? There, there, uh -huh. there are. There are. There are glasses, ok, glasses uh, son, los, son los lentes transparentes, porque los lentes negros son los sunglasses, ok, y curiosamente, eh, there este, is a phone, ok, there is a phone, right, there is a phone, it's right here, very ugly and old, this one, este que está aquí, it's a glass, este es un vaso, y se escribe así, glass, just like that, right, ay, sorry, Glass, pero estos que están aquí, los lentes, son glasses. Ay, sorry, my bad. Here, glasses, ok. Glasses son los lentes, glass es vaso. Ok. There is a video game. There is a video game. Well, it is the cable TV, but it's okay. It puede ser un Super Nintendo. Para nosotros puede ser un Nintendo. It's okay. Es lo de la tele, ¿verdad? Puede ser un BH. Joanna, tell me. Uh, how do you say periódico? Newspaper. There is a news. There is a newspaper. Paper. Newspaper. Es el papel de las noticias. A newspaper. How do you say maletín? Briefcase. Briefcase is maletín. Briefcase. And I think we have enough pictures. What about here? ¿Qué tal aquí? ¿Qué vemos aquí? Y aquí necesito que ocupen las prepositions. Prepositions of place. Ahí hay un ejemplo. The chair is on the desk. Examples with prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Examples. The, the umbrella is behind... Um, is behind uh, the picture. Very good. The umbrella is behind the picture. Excellent. You have the first one, right? Ya hicimos la primera. The umbrella is behind the picture. Otra. Uh, TV is behind of wash. Okay, very watch. good. Okay, watch is the one that you use here. Okay, el que nos ponemos aquí es watch. Este es clock. Este es clock. Todo el reloj que ya sea de pared, de, de eso, de, de mesa y todo eso son clock. Okay, el que nos ponemos en la manita, watch. Okay, the TV is behind the clock. Another one. The phone is under the sofa and the table. Excellent sentence. The phone is under the sofa and the table. Nice, Leti. Están arrasando esas. Las niñas están arrasando. ¿Qué pasó, Cipotes? José, Antonio, Cristian, calladitos están. Hey, Leti Ortiz, ¿qué pasó? Las niñas están arrasando, le tipo, hacen ahí al, 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 al tiro de las niñas. Ajá, Antonio, vamos. Um, no sé si estaría bien, dice, the picture is your face. The picture is? Ah, beautiful. Yes, the picture is beautiful, but I need prepositions of place. 
Así como esta, the umbrella is behind the picture, the, the TV is behind the clock, the telephone is under the table. The dishes on the table. Okay, the, the dishes are on the table, right? The dishes are on the table. Barbara y Anet, usa, usa. The dishes are on the table. The Vamos. sofa in... The sofa is on the table. The sofa is on the table. Excellent. The sofa is on the table. I understand the newspaper. The newspaper is is in the wall. In sería dentro de. On. On the wall. Very good. The newspaper is on the wall. ¿Y el DVD? ¿Dónde está el DVD? ¿Dónde está el DVD? The DVD is, aquí sí sería in. ¿Y cómo se dice basurero? Aquí lo tienen. The DVD. Ajá. Cristian Ramos. ¿Dónde está el DVD? Cristian, ¿dónde está el DVD? Okay. Aquí les puse cómo se llama el basurero. Waste, sí, ves. <risa> Waste basket. Waste okay. basket. ¿Qué les dije cuando no sabemos cómo se pronuncia una palabra? Teacher, how do you pronounce basurero in English? Waste basket. Waste basket. The waste basket. También se llama trash can. Es más fácil. Trash can. Basurero. Trash can and waste basket. So, those are examples of sentences with the prepositions of place, right? Those are examples of sentences with the prepositions of place. And as you can see here, I have a little description of them, right? That you say in, dentro de, in front of, enfrente de, behind, on, next to, and under. There you have the definitions and the pictures, okay? the prepositions of place. And here we have, this is a little exercise that we are going to do. And if I say the bag, the books are in the bag. Y aquí tienen el primer ejemplo. The books are in the bag. The DVD player is, ¿dónde está? The DVD player is? Into a chap. It is next to next to next to what? Next to the, the TV. Next to the television, right? The chair is the chair is the chair is uh, behind, behind on the desk. Behind the desk, right? The wallet is um, the wallet is next to no encima de um, how do you say that? Is the wallet on is on what? Uh, ¿Cómo se llama eso? 
The wallet is on the bag. The purse or the bag. Cualquiera de los dos es, es eh, correcto. The wallet is on the purse or on the bag. The cell phone is... The cell phone is... In front of... In front of what? Front of book. The address uh, book. Uh, the cell phone is in front of the address book. Okay, so here we go. These are very good examples for this part of the presentation. Excellent job. So we're going to do a general review with a couple of sentences. I need you to complete these sentences for me. Make it logical. And it says, Hiroshi, are you in Mako from Japan? Yes, we. Yes, we what? Are. Yes, we are, right? Yes, we are. Oh. You from Tokyo? It, this is a question. Are you? Are you from? Are you from Tokyo? No. No, I'm not. Aha, uh -huh, very good. No, I am not. From Kyoto. I am. I am. I am. I am from Kyoto. From Kyoto, right? There you go. Jose Reyes, vamos con la conversación. Yo soy B y usted es A. Hiroshi, are you in my microphone? Japan? Yes, we are. Oh, are you from Tokyo? No, I am not. I am from Kyoto. Good. Joanna and Tatiana, vamos. Hiroshi, are you and make you from Japan? Yes, we are. Oh, are you from Tokyo? No, I am not. I am from Kyoto. Excellent job. Very good job. Let's see. Let's go with Ilse and Antonio. Hiroshi, are you a man from Japan? Yes, we are. Oh, are you from Tokyo? No, I am. Not. I am not. I am from Kyoto. Very good job. So let's go with the next one. And the next one is going to be for Leticia and Christian. La vamos a completar primero. Vamos a ver. What are you going to use in the first one? Laura from the US. Is. Is very good. Is Laura from the US? No. She's she is not. She, she is not. No, she is not. She is from the UK. She from London. Is. Is she from London? Yes, she. She yes, she is, right? But her parents are from Italy. Not from the UK originally. Her parents, plural, too. They. They, right? They. I, they are... They are not from the UK originally. 
Laura's first language Italian. She is. It's a question. Is she? Is, porque ya tenemos Laura aquí. Is Laura's first language Italian? No. Estamos hablando del idioma, un objeto. No. It's. Excellent. It's. No, it is not. Seguimos hablando de un objeto. It is. English. Ok. Leticia en Cristian. Vamos. Is Laura from the UK? Leticia González. No. no, she is not. She is from the UK. 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 Is she from London? Yes, she is, but her parents are from Italy. They are not from the UK original. Is our official language Italian? No, it is not. It is English. Very good job. No, it is not. It is English, right? Let's go with... Leticia Ortiz en, let me see, Leticia en, hey, Steven is not here today, Ilse. Is Laura from the, ¿y cómo se pronuncia eso? UK, from the US or from the UK, US, que es United States, y UK, United Kingdom. Is Laura from the USA? US, US. US, US. No, she is not. She is from the UK. Is she from... Yes, she is. But the parents are from Italy. But they her are parents. Not... Her parents. But her parents are from Italy. They are not from the UK originally. Very good. Is Laura Fertz language Italian? No, it is not. It is English. English. Very good job. Janet Sarabia, ya que me anda paseando ahí por la casa. Veamos a ver. It's your turn. Ajá, la caché dando vuelta. Janet, comienza. He venido tarde y ayer he estado enferma, por eso. Oh my God. Vamos, Janet. Tú comienzas. Is Laura from the USA? US, US. US. No, she's not. She's from the UK. It is from. London. London, London. London. Yes, she is, but her parents are from Italy. They are not from the UK originally. Is Laura from lengua Italian? First language. Language. And no, it, no, it is not. It is English, right? Very good job. Hey, okay, Janet, very good. Let's go with the next one. And this is for everybody. Aquí vamos todos. What about the first one? Selena and Carlos from Mexico. I, I, she. Are. Are, right? Because it's two people, plural. Are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? No. No, they are not. No, they are not. They are from they Brazil. Are. You from Brazil too? Are. Are you, right? Are you from Brazil too? No. 
No, I am not, right? No, I am not. I am from Peru. So, your first language is Spanish? Is. Is, right? Very good. Is your first language Spanish? No, it. No, it is not. Okay. Everybody, I am A and you are B. Are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? Todos, vamos. No, 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 no they, they are, are not. Are they are from, from Brazil. 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 Are you from Brazil too? No, no, no I am not. I am, I am not. from Peru. Peru. So, is your first language Spanish? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. yes, it is. Ahora ustedes comienzan y yo respondo. Vamos. Are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? No, they are not. They are from Brazil. Are you from Brazil too? No, I am not. I'm from Peru. So, is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. Y aquí le puse, yes, it is not, y nadie me dijo nada. Yes, it is. Y aquí nada más lleva is. Está bien, teacher, dijeron todos. Yes, it is. There you go. Excellent job, my dear students. And here we have, what is the correct answer? What is the correct answer here? Are you and your family from Canada? No, we are not. We are from Australia. What about the next one? What is the answer for number two? No, it's not. Is it's your Japanese. first language English? It's letter C, right? No, it is not. It is Japanese. What about the next one? Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you Japanese? What would be the answer? Or the next Is Mr. Ho from Hong Kong? Mr. Ho. ¿Qué sujeto sería ese? I, you, he, she. Mr. Ho. He. No, no, he's not. He's not. He's not Singapore. He is from Singapore, right? Very good. What about the next one? La que sigue o la anterior. Is your mother from the US? <coughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. She is. She is She's from California. She is from California. So this one, are you Japanese? What is the answer? No, it is not. No, I. Esta ya está contestada. Are you Japanese? Yes, we are. We are from Kyoto. We are from Kyoto. Cuando decimos are you, en este caso sería un plural. Are you Japanese? Porque la respuesta tenemos we. Are you Japanese? Yes, we are. We are from Kyoto, right? Excellent job on your answers. Okay, vamos bien para el repaso. Muy bien. Let's see. Mr. Christian, ahorita que lo veo en cámara y no me va a botar el internet. Who's that? Who's that? Wow, he's cute. What is his name? Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is 
He is very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only for she's the baby of the family. Excellent job, Christian. Very good job. Reactions for Christian. Very good. No practice on the spot. He just did it, right? What is the lady doing here? ¿Qué está haciendo Emma en esta parte de la conversación? Ajá. ¿Solo porque lo quiere conocer, le preguntó? ¿O tiene otro interés? Ajá. Do you, do, you, do you think that she's just curious? No, sí. ¿Captan otro interés en la parte de la conversación? When you say, who's that? Who's that one? Y ese quién es vos. Ah, because he says, he's my brother. Wow, he's cute. It's like, ah, qué bonito. Qué bonito de qué bonito. What's his name? ¿Cómo se llama? James, we call him Jim. How old is he? ¿Cuántos años tiene? He is 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Te apuesto que buena onda, right? Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. Okay. ¿Qué le pareció el hermano? ¿Qué le pareció el hermano a Emma? Mm -hmm. Cute. Cute, right? When you say, qué bonito, qué bonito. ¿Qué hace esto? Con, esta es una típica conversación entre dos chicas. ¿verdad? Que usted bien como así como que, y ese quién es, pues. And then you start asking, right? Asking things. Imagínense que llega un chico nuevo ahí a la fábrica, ¿verdad? Alto, guapo, elegante. ¿Qué van a decir las chicas? Ah, de mí no van a estar hablando. <risa> My God. Ya me voy a morir por estarme riendo aquí con usted. De mí no van a estar hablando, va a decir Cristian. Así dijeron cuando llegue el primer día. ¿eh? Ok, y José, yo estoy casado, de mí no van a estar hablando, va a decir José. But that's the most common thing, right? Que las chicas, ¿y ese vos quién es? And then you start asking, right? You say, like, oh, he's cute, he's handsome. Mírelo, eh, you say. And that's the intention of the conversation. When you say, who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What is his name? James. We call him Jim. How old is he? He's 21 years old. Hmm, what's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Right? Here, on the conversation, we have a couple of words that are the ones that I am looking for. This one, for example, when he say, he is cute. And I bet he's nice he is smart she is the baby of the family right when you say cute nice and smart are adjectives okay está bonito está guapo eh, es buena onda es inteligente right so those are adjectives and i have more examples here let me just here we have the questions with the word B and here we have the practice. In this one, I have all the definitions of the different adjectives that we can have. And I have here a couple of them. We're going to use with this ones, okay? When we talk about adjectives, right? We can start with this one. He, Oh, in this case, he has. 
white skin. White skin es que es chelito, ¿verdad? White skin. Brown hair. ¿Qué tiene el pelito color? Café. It's brown hair. It's tall. It's very tall. Es muy alto, right? It's tall. The opposite, short. It's handsome. Handsome, como mis estudiantes de la clase. Guapo. Quiet. Quiet. Chavi. Chavi, gordito, rellenito. Yeah. Chavi. Chavi. Friendly. Friendly is amigable. Okay. A little intelligent. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasa cuando a un adjetivo le ponemos un intensifier? El intensifier en este caso es little. ¿Lo puede mejorar o lo puede empeorar? Si a intelligent le pongo otro tipo de intensifier, como por ejemplo, really o very, ¿ok? Si le pongo un intensifier como really or very a intelligent, ¿lo mejora o lo empeora? Lo mejora. Lo mejora, ¿verdad? Porque yo le digo, no, Nati is very intelligent. Nati is really intelligent. But if I say, ay, no, Nati is a little intelligent. Ahí lo empeoramos, ¿verdad? Pero si me dice, por ejemplo, imagínense que de repente en la oración le digan, not really. Ahí lo recontra empeora. She is not really intelligent. Así como que no es realmente inteligente. It's a really bad adjective. Y eso pasa con todos los adjetivos. Estos intensifiers los pueden ocupar con todos los adjetivos. Y los van a mejorar o los van a empeorar. En el caso de Chubby, Chubby es el contrario, porque Chubby es gordito, rellenito. Pero si yo le digo a alguien que es really Chubby, es como realmente gordito, man. está como bien gordito. Pero si le digo a little, ahí pasa lo contrario. Si yo le digo a alguien que está a little Chubby, un poquito gordito. It's different, right? So you have to make it logical. Tienen que hacerle la lógica también cuando los ocupen con los adjetivos. Si lo ocupan con talkative, por ejemplo. Talkative, ¿saben qué significa esto? Talkative. Como hablantín. Hablantín. Si yo le pongo really talkative, ¿Qué le estaría diciendo? Really talkative. I mean, the person is really talkative. Es realmente hablantina. Oh my God, no se calla, right? But if I say, she's a little talkative. Es un poquito hablantín. Más o menos. ¿Ok? Con rich, por ejemplo. Si yo le digo, he is a little rich. ¿Qué les estaría diciendo? He's a little rich. ¿Qué significaría eso? He's a little rich. This one. Rich. Con dinero. Adinerado. He's a little rich. Ajá. ¿Qué significaría eso? He is a little rich. Eh, un poco es un poco adinerado pero si veo yo aquí a Rico Macpato y 
Dice, he is very rich. Muy adinerado. Es muy adinerado, right? Ahí ya sacó las high looks. So cute. Ah, it's so cute, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Right, ahí a, a Don Pedro Miguel, vea. Si ya lo vio que sacó las high looks ahí. He's very cute. Wow, very handsome. Ahí está guapo en a Don, a don Juan Miguel, right? Because he's very rich. Ahí sí la bicha le, ay, que usted bien guapo, don Miguel. Seguro, ¿verdad? Don Pedro Miguel. Ah, Joana se ríe. El de la Hailu. Thing es delgado. Right? He's thing. It's very thing. And good looking. What is the meaning of good looking? Bien parecido. Good looking is Bien parecido, o sea, muy guapo. Good hearted is de buen corazón. Aquí cuando te mandan a la friendzone, vea. ¿Y, ¿Y qué pensas de mí? Pues que no sé qué, qué cuánto. Ay, vos tenés buen corazón. Ya ni pregunte más, vea. Bye, bye. To the friendzone. Friendzone. You are a good friend, they say. Bye, bye. To the friendzone. Ok. In shape, en forma, right? Good looking, bien parecido. Attractive, atractivo, right? The same. Beautiful, it's only for the ladies. Beautiful. Pretty, it's only for the ladies as well. Handsome is for the boys. This one that we have here. This one is for the boys, okay? Amazing, big, and small. And... None of you has been curious, right? Nadie ha sido curioso y no me ha preguntado qué significa la A y qué significa la P. Nadie ha salido de curioso. Ah, personality and appearance. Appearance es que lo puedes ver. Personality es comportamiento. Por ejemplo, attractive. Tú puedes ver que alguien es attractive, right? Ya, yeah, de la teacher no van a estar hablando. Attractive, you say. Beautiful, pretty, amazing, right? Strict, angry, popular, famous. That is, famous is personality, okay? Porque si tú ves a alguien en la calle, pueda que no sepas si es famoso o no. Pero ya con el comportamiento y con todo te puedes dar cuenta. Pero good looking sí lo puedes ver y eso es appearance. O sea, tan pronto ves a una muchacha muy bonita en la calle y te llama la atención y dices, ah, qué bonita. ¿verdad? Good looking, porque lo puedes ver. It's appearance, right? Amazing. Amazing, porque tiene una P. Porque esto es personality. Usted me puede ver en la calle y no sabe que soy amazing. Pero si ya nos llevamos, ya platicamos y todo esto dice, hey, qué chivas. Esta persona es fantástica. It's amazing. Because you know the person, right? Puede ver que algo es small. Puede ver que algo es small porque te lo puedo mostrar. And you say like, okay, este objeto, it's small. Because you are looking at it. Okay, it's small. But, for example, in the case of shy, ¿te puedes dar cuenta que una persona es shy? No. Hasta que, ok, se puede parecer, ¿verdad? Así como que, mm, pero ya la tratan y de repente saca el, la personalidad. ¿verdad? Tal vez solo era callada. Tal vez solo era quieta, así calladita, ¿verdad? So, she is just shy, but it's personality, right? Era solo de personalidad. Eh, active, personality, kind, es personality, kind es amable. Eh, from the other ones, do you know the meaning? ¿Se saben el significado de los demás? 
Sporty. Sporty. <clears throat> In this one, sporty is a, a person who makes a lot of exercise. And it's very muscular and it's very tall and everything. It's like, dime, oh, oh, sí, no, no. Como Johnny Bravo. Have you seen Johnny Bravo? El muñequito. Que es así como bien grande y toda la cosa. It's sporty, right? Sporty, muy deportivo. No era como el, el mejor ejemplo de deportivo, pero bueno. It's, it's big and muscular. Any other one? Loyal. Loyal. Como todas las mujeres. Leal. Hombre. Como los hombres de mi, de mi clase. Leales. Fieles. Any other one? Ajá. Otro ejemplo. Que no se sepan el significado. Eh, brunette, brunette skin. Brunette skin. Brunette skin. Ok, yo no, yo soy como papel, papel bomba. Eh, <laughs> but brunette skin es moreno, morenito. Ok. Moreno. De piel morena. Ok. Yo parezco fantasma, toda chela. Brunette skin, right? Moreno. Any other one? Helpful. Helpful. Helpful es que ayuda, okay? que ve la situación y ayuda. Helpful es alguien que es, es apoyo. Okay? The next one, talkative. Antonio José, talkative. Hablantín. Like your teacher. Talkative. Serious. Like your teacher. Serious. Seria. In shape, en forma. Aunque sea en forma de Coca-Cola en bolsa, pero en, en forma. Very strict, like your teacher. Ah, no. Estricto. Realmente estricto. Any other one? Pregunten ahora, porque después no me van a hacer preguntas. In shape, ya les dije que era en forma. Big. Big. Ok. Ok, shy es eh, tímido, penoso. Ok, let's see. What else? Any other one? Thin, delgadito. Thin, delgado. Amazing, big, grande. Angry, como los angry birds, ¿se acuerdan? Enojado, right? White hair. White hair. Canoso. Eh, active. Ya saben qué significa active. It's the same as in Spanish. Kind, amable. Organized, organizado. Dark hair, de pelo negro. A little tall. Un, poqu un poquito algo. Un poquito alto. Sorry. Which one? ¿Cuál, Antonio? Sí, loyal. 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 Y no dijeron que así eran todos los hombres del salón, pues. Leales, fieles. <risa> loyal. Ah, ah, pues, sí. ah confir confirmando, yo sé. Good hearted, good hearted is the buen corazón, right? Thing, fat es gordito, right? Gordito. Chavi es rellenito, medio rellenito, pero fat sí es gordito. Eh, good looking, bien parecido. If you could describe, ok, let's describe Mr. José. ¿Cómo describirían a don José Reyes? ¿Qué adjetivos le dieran? 
¿Cómo hacemos la oración? En este caso, you say, he is, y le ponemos los adjetivos. Y si es una chica, she is, ¿ok? En el caso de don José Reyes, ustedes que son sus amigos, que lo ven, lo conocen y todo, ¿qué adjetivos le dieran? Vale, José, pose ahí. No, usted solo no se los dé. Sus amigos se los van a dar. He's short. He's short. ¿Really? Yo lo hacía como un hombre bien altote. He's short. He's active. He's active. Very good. What else? ¿Qué más diríamos de don José Reyes? He is sociable. He is? Sociable. He is what, Antonio? Sociable. No le... Ay. Sociable. Ah, sociable. Sociable. He is sociable. He is short. He is active. Talkative. He is talkative. Talkative. Okay. He is talkative. One more. Uno más. He is smart. He is bien Okay. He is smart. He is sociable, right? He is sporty. Ah. For Christian Ramos. ¿Qué adjetivos le dieron a Christian? Modele Christian para creerlo. Los, los mejores. Ajá, por Cristian Ramos. He is. Famous. He is famous. He is, he is keen. Intelligent. intelligent, kind, right? He is kind. He is kind. He is intelligent. What else? Yo le dije famous. Famous, kind, intelligent. ¿Cuál sería el otro? Is he tall or short? Vaya, está bueno. Big. He's big, ok. Short. He's a big man and he's short. Ok. He's short, teacher. He's short. Qué engañosos son ustedes, de veras. Vea. Ok. What about adjectives for Janet? ¿Qué adjetivos le dieran a Janet? She is. Ajá. She is intelligent. Good. She is. She is famous. She's famous. Ok, la Janet llega a la fábrica. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué se queda? ¿Qué se falta? Todo el mundo. She's famous. She's happy. She's happy. She's happy or angry. Angry or happy, Anthony? Happy. Ah, happy, happy. Ok, ya le vamos a preguntar al esposo. Is she angry or happy? Janet. Are you happy or angry? I'm back happy. to you, <laughs> Happy. Porque él es payaso. Ahí con con mi hermano ahí. Vaya, y yo mañana en la tarde. Él es artista por eso. Ah, de verdad. Oh, okay. Este mano ahí. A lo vemos. Ya ven va. Aquí ves que descubriendo todo aquí. Adjectives por ah, Joana. Que, con, ¿Con qué abogado? Para así llegarle yo ahí. Ya, 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 nos estamos pasando ahí del chambre. Joana, adjectives por Joana. Joana, hasta, hasta se arregla el pelo. ¿verdad? Adjectives por Joana. She is tall. She is tall. Tall. Ok. Yes. Joana, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué estatura tienes? ¿Cuánto mides? Unos 70. 
¡Ay, like me! I am a tall woman, too. Yo ando por unos 75, más o menos. 74, 75. Yo fui una vara de cueta en mi otra vida. So that's why Joanna says that the boys are short. Entonces por eso Joanna les dice a todos que son bajitos. Así hago yo. Adjectives for Joanna. She's tall. Ajá. She's hungry. Angry. Híjole. Is that true, Joanna? No. She's not angry, okay? She's not angry. She's beautiful, as you can see. Es muy linda, no. Joana. No, I say, ¡Eh! it's so bitch. <laughs> Son malía, ya lo veo. Yeah, la envidia. La envidia. She's beautiful. Let's see. Uh, are you organized or disorganized? Artista de la talla de William Levis. Okay. <laughs> Ya, Nete, gracias ahí al artista que nos aclara ¿eh? el detalle. Ay, qué cipote. Ok, uh, one more adjective for Joanna. She is intelligent. Intelligent, very good. Adjectives for Tatiana. Vamos, 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 vamos. Rapidito ahí entre todos. Adjectives for Tatiana. She is sociable, social, sociable, active. intelligent, active. She is attractive. Attractive. Very good. One more. Friendly. She is organized. 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 She is organized. Adjectives for Ilse. Adjectives for Ilse. She is. She is shy. She's shy. She angry. angry. Really? Ilse. So I know how Ilse. Ah, okay. Uh, happy. Happy and angry. A little bit of both. She's intelligent. She's intelligent. Very good. She is white skin. Shy. She, she has white skin and she is shy. Good, very good. Adjectives for Dalila. Adjectives for Alma Dalila. Ajá. Va, Dalila está, está posando, les está ahí. <laughs> She's I think very strict. She's kind. She's very strict. She, she she's happy. kind. Happy. She's beautiful. I think uh, I think Dalila is very friendly. Yo la veo que bien amigable. Que debe tener un montón de amigos. She's very friendly. She's sociable. Good. She's sociable. What about Leticia González? ¿Qué me dicen de la Leti? Uh -huh. She's a good hearted. hearted. She's good hearted. Good, nice. What a beautiful adjective. She's good hearted. What else? She's happy. She's happy. Good. She's intelligent. Intelligent. Nice. She's intelligent. She's good hearted. Sociable. Happy. Excellent. She's beautiful. She's really beautiful. And Leticia She's Ortiz. Organized. organized. Very good. Organized. And Leticia Ortiz. La Leticia. No te vemos en cámara, Leticia. She's shy. Ahí está. She's shy because she doesn't have the camera. She is sporty. She's a sporty porque siempre está en el gimnasio. ¿verdad? She's a sporty. She is pretty. She is. She is white skin. She has. En el caso de la piel decimos, en el, en el caso de la piel, el pelo y los ojos decimos she has. Ella tiene. 
She has, she has white. white skin. Very good job. And who am I missing? Um, Antonio. Antonio um, Jose y Antonio. Ajá, para el hombre sin fronteras. Antonio Jose, adjectives for Antonio. He's popular. He's popular. Okay. He's popular. He is friendly. He is social. Friendly, sociable. What else? Pretty. No. He is. He's pretty. <laughs> no, he's handsome. Pretty and beautiful are for ladies. Okay? Pretty and beautiful are only for ladies. Handsome and good looking puede ser para, para chicos. Vamos a ver, ¿quién me falta? ¿Quién me falta? ¿Quién me falta? Adjectives uh, for... Teacher. For the teacher. How is your for teacher? The teacher. <laughs> How is your she teacher? Is intelligent. She well, is happy. You. Happy, intelligent. Thank you very much. It's rich. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good looking. Thank you very much. Rich, no, porque aquí estamos trabajando en la noche, niño. She is beautiful. Thank you. Un rato en la mañana, sí. En el parque solo de 8 a 12, Uy. rapito. She's cute. She's cute. Rapito. No, que no es el, el famoso ahí, payaso, rapito. Uy. Ya, ya, conociendo celebridades aquí en medio de mi descripción. Good looking, beautiful. Voy a ver como siete veces She's este video. <laughs> en amor en el corazón, you. No, yo siempre les digo, el, la educación es un trabajo del corazón. Definitely. Es el único trabajo en el que nunca te vas a ser millonario, pero sos millonario de espíritu. Porque yo conozco a tanta entonces, gente. Sí. Ajá. Entonces, good heart. I am good hearted. Definitely, good hearted. Sí. He conocido a más de y, no sé cuántos miles de estudiantes. Creo que eso sí me hace bien millonaria. Así que cuando me ven en la calle y me dicen, ¡Salud, teacher! Digo, ¡Salud! I'm famous. I am famous in some cases. <laughs> so those are adjectives, as you can see. They describe things. They describe situations. They describe people, right? And they describe different uh, ways of looking. Right, those are the adjectives. Here we have some other examples. As you can see here, we have the lady on the door. Miren a esta que está aquí escondida en la puerta. She is shy. Aquí tenemos a it. He's funny. ¿Qué tal aquí la señorita? She is serious. She is talkative. Pero he is quiet. She is very pretty. Es muy bonita. He is handsome. She is thin. Está delgadita. She is a little heavy. Está un poquito gordita. He is really tall. This one. He is short. Este está chiquito. Está bajito. They are good looking. Porque los dos son guapos. Él es guapo y ella es bonita. They are good looking. And she is really friendly. Esta es la que le habla a todo el mundo. Es chera de medio mundo. Teacher Nati le dice. She is really friendly. Ya. Yeah. Yo me hago chera hasta de las piedras. She is really friendly. And it's true, right? Yo puedo venir en el bus y hago como siete amigos en el momentito. She's really friendly. And these ones are the adjectives. As you can see, tenemos sujeto, verbo to be, adjetivo. Sujeto, el verbo to be, adjetivo. The same. She is short. She is thin. He is handsome. She is pretty. He is quiet. Okay? That's the structure 
of the adjectives. And let me show you right here. Oh, no, this is not for That's for tomorrow. I have the manual right here. Let me just open it. Le voy a abrir el manual. Aquí lo tengo. Here it is. Okay. These are the ones that we were studying yesterday, right? Ayer estuvimos estudiando esto. Positive adjectives and negative adjectives. Joanna, tell me. The microphone, sweetie. No te escucho. Perdón, con la, con la presentación que vamos a tener el lunes, eh, vamos a agregar también los adjectives. Yes. Por eso se los me estaba remarcando okay. ahí, por eso se los puse ahora para que puedan describir al que está con ustedes. <clears throat> positive adjectives and negative adjectives. Positive adjectives. Negative adjectives. Si yo le digo angry, ¿qué es eso? ¿Positivo o negativo? Hmm, she's negative. very angry, right? She's very beautiful. Positivo. <laughs> Comfortable. Comfortable es cómodo. Pero si yo le digo narrow, bien chiquitito, así que ni espacio hay para pasar, ¿verdad? Aquí es de tres el asiento. Medio asiento, así de uno y medio. ¿verdad? Narrow space. Comfortable. Hasta cuatro caben en el asiento. Comfortable. Huge. Huge. Enorme. Huge. Small. Okay, huge. Es bien grande. Small. Chiquito. Nice. Nice places, right? Si llega en un Ferrari, usted. Nice. Pero si llega en un Corolla de esos 82. Disgusting. <laughs> Johanna, la cara igualita a la que le hice yo. Ay, te voy a pasar a traer, mi amor. Ya vas a ver en, el, en la nave. Disgusting. Mm -mm. Ajá, pero llegó el otro ahí en la Highlands. Nice. I am giving you real life examples, right? Después no digan que no les doy ejemplos de la vida real. It's true, right? Si llega en coaster. Mm -mm. Te voy a traer en la costa. <laughs> illuminated. Illuminated, it's full of lights and beautiful and everything, right? Si usted llega a una casa y está bien iluminada, se ve bonita, pero si está toda oscura, usted dice, mm, quizás no vea, qué rara. Smelly. ¿Qué significa smelly? Smell is the action of Breathing. And you say, smelly. Ew. Malol. Maloliente, right? A smelly living room. Si llega a una casa con 15 gatos. Que no los cuidan. It's a smelly house. Believe it or not, right? Aunque tenga, si tiene más de tres gatos, pero no los cuida, no los limpia. It's a smelly house. And you say like, well, aquí hay gatos, va. Me, 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 everywhere. Hay casas que tienen muchos gatos y son muy limpias y muy lindas y preciosas, va. Son nice places. Pero si no los cuidan, smelly living rooms. That's the difference. So, as you can see here, we have with there are. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places. There is an illuminated training room. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen. There is a smelly living room. 
that's the structure of the sentence, okay? If we create sentences right here, si nos ponemos a hacer oraciones aquí, tenemos el objetivo, el adjetivo small y el lugar gym. <coughs> Usemos there is. There is a, ¿cuál es el adjetivo? Small. small. There is a small, ¿qué? ¿De qué estamos hablando? Del gimnasio. Yeah. There is a small gym. ¿Qué tal esta? New training rooms. Plural. It's plural. They are or there are? There are. There are. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo? Uh, three, three. There are new, ¿de qué estamos hablando? Training, training rooms. Room. There are new training rooms. Uh, okay. Clean cafeterias, plural. They are. They are, estamos ocupando la estructura there. There, there are. There are. Ay, voy, 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 voy. Espera que este volado está. Tiene vida propia. There are. What is the adjective? Clean. Clean what? Clean cafeterias. What is the next one? Number four. A smart meeting room. Only one. There is. there is a or an uh, what is the adjective there is a smart what there is a smart meeting room what about the next one Unpleasant bathrooms, plural. There are. There are unpleasant bathrooms. Unpleasant bathrooms. Bathroom. What's the meaning? Unpleasant, desagradables. Cuando vos entras y aquello está sucio, mojado, lleno de tierra, sin papel, sin agua. Unpleasant. Ok. And the last one. Tiny, tiny cubicle. Tiny cubicle. There is. There is a tiny cubicle. ¿Qué significa cubicle? ¿Qué significa cubicle? Ajá. Cuando llegas a la oficina y te dicen, aquí está tu cubículo, mira. Es una cosita así que solo lo hacía acá, vea. There is a tiny cubicle. And it's like, ah, really? Here? My God, right? Te das vuelta, topas con la pared, te das vuelta, topas con la pared, ¿verdad? A tiny cubicle, un cubículo, una oficina pequeñita. Okay, there is a tiny cubicle. That is the definition of that one. If you can give me definitions for the factory, what definitions would you use? ¿Cómo describirían la, la fábrica, el lugar donde ustedes trabajan? Big, small, clean, dirty. How would you describe it? It is Okay, it's big. el video como lo subí. Ajá. How, how can you describe the place? José, ¿cómo describiría el, el lugar donde trabaja? Tatiana, Antonio. 
There is big. It is big. Clean. It is big and clean. Good. There are, lo vamos a ocupar cuando vamos a explicar qué hay allí. Ok. Si vamos a explicar cómo es, decimos it is. Si vamos a escribir qué hay, cómo es, there are. I will give you more examples. Here, for example, there is a small gym. Pero si vamos a hablar solo de cómo es el gimnasio, it is small. ¿Ok? ¿Me captan como la diferencia de lo que les quiero explicar ahorita? Que si decimos, there is a small gym, hay un gimnasio pequeño. Pero si estamos hablando solo del gimnasio, decimos, it is small. ¿Ok? Así ocupamos. Por ejemplo, ahorita si están hablando de la fábrica, me dicen, it is, porque estamos hablando del lugar, it is, y ahí ocupamos el adjetivo. It is big, it is clean, it is spacious, right? It is big, uh, clean, spacious, and hot. Okay. O no sé si hace, si hace frío. It is big, clean, spacious, and hot. Ahorita en todos lados hace frío. Creo que está en ataco. En hot. So, that is the definition. When you say it is big, clean, spacious, and hot, estamos describiendo el lugar en sí. Si queremos decir cómo es algo que hay allí, me pueden decir, there are, there are big, Offices. Ok, there are big offices. Hay oficinas bastante grandes. There are big offices. There are big machines. Ok. ¿Cómo es y qué hay? Esa es la diferencia. Si vamos a decir cómo es, it is. He is, she is. Si vamos a decir qué hay, there is, there are. Ok. That's the difference. <clears throat> and here, I'm going to go here with the, no, this is the employee's information. And we're going to finish with the prepositions of place. Yesterday, I taught you this topic, right? Ayer les enseñé este tema de las prepositions of place, in front, behind, next, near, etc. right? You have along. Along, it's like en todo lo largo de, in front of, Enfrente de, behind, right, next to, between, across, al cruzarse de, past, al pasar, and under, debajo, o abajo de. The sports palace is, and here you use any prepositions of place, so you say the sports palace is, let's say next to, next to the bank. The restaurant is on First Avenue. The city hall is between the church and book world. The church and the city hall are across from or in front of. Across from, in front of the park. So, as you can see, the preposition of place, the sports palace is, y ahí va después del verbo, y después va el siguiente, eh, la siguiente, el complemento de la oración. The restaurant is on First Avenue. The city hall is, y aquí ponemos la preposition of place. The church and the city hall are across from or between. Okay? We did this one with the examples of the map. And... This is vocabulary practice if you want to use it. But we are going to finish with this one. He has a presentation in the meeting room or on the meeting room? He has a presentation in the meeting room or on the meeting room? On, on the meeting room? Espérenme, vamos a, a, a volver aquí. Ayer se las enseñé, fíjense. Chan, chan, chan. Ahí voy, espérense. 
Ay, tengo que subir todavía más. Mira, On, in, at. Remember these ones. What was the option? The, uh, at, at the uh, meeting room, right? At the meeting room. Pero aquí me voy a ir de un solo a la diez. Si no lo voy a atarantar. Okay, he has a presentation at the meeting room, right? The exhibition is San Miguel. Uh -huh. The exhibition is in. in San Miguel, right? The exhibition is in San Miguel. The exhibition is in San Miguel. Uh -huh. Here you go. Right there. Human resources is the third floor. Human resources is the third floor. Uh -huh. At the third floor. On. On the third floor, right? On the corner on the street, right? It's on the third floor. Okay. Here we go. Let me move it here. Okay, human resources is on the third floor. On. The laptop is... Encima de... On the... On the main table. Where is your boss? My boss is... is at uh, at work. work, right? Juan is the photocopy center. Está dentro de un lugar. In. In the photocopy center. Very good. He is in the photocopy center. Porque está en el edificio, pero está específicamente en un lugar. He is in the photocopy center. Well, my dear students, that was it for the book, right? But for Monday, we have the presentations, okay? And let me see for this one. Let me stop sharing. And I will call the attendance right now. Voy a llamar la asistencia en estos minutitos que nos quedan. Questions for Monday. Preguntas para el lunes. Vamos a describir eh, según lo que hemos visto de, durante todos los temas. Yes, you can add a little bit of everything. Puedes agregarle un poquito de todo. Cosas que les gustan, cosas que hacen, donde trabajan, de dónde son, cómo son, todo lo que hemos visto en estos temas. Como descri describiéndose un poco de la vida. Ajá, describiéndote tú y describiendo la otra persona. Mm -hmm. Recuerda que si estás hablando de otra persona, she is, he is, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Very yeah, good. Sí, claramente. Very good. Questions, Mr. José, do you have questions? No, creo que estamos claros porque... Eh... Entendí que vamos a presentarnos, vamos uh -huh. a presentar a alguien más uh -huh. y le, lo más que podamos sin ir leyendo en el momento. Exactly like that, okay? Prepare, prepare. The only thing that I want is your production. I want you to produce the language, not to read, okay? I want you to produce the language. La idea del, de la presentación es que ustedes produzcan, pues, no que me estén leyendo nada. Pueden ensayar y todo, pero no todo de memoria, right? It is necessary that you mention it, but it's not going to be all by heart, right? Any other question? Otra pregunta? No more questions? Ajá, ajá. 
question right now. You can can you make a PowerPoint? Eh, después, uh -huh. Yes, Joanna. Después del de lunes, eh, que vamos a tener la última clase, ¿cuándo iniciaríamos la siguiente? Very good question. I was telling you yesterday that you wait around three to four days, ¿ok? Casi siempre, y eso es como bien común. Por ejemplo, acaban la clase el lunes, ¿ok? Acaban el módulo lunes. De ahí pasa martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, que no tienen clase porque están preparando el siguiente módulo. Y obviamente les indican que día inician, que casi siempre es como el lunes de la siguiente semana, para iniciar con su módulo siguiente. ¿Ok? And I hope to see you. I hope, I hope to be here. Yo eso es lo que tengo aquí. Mira, sí estoy cruzando los deditos. ¿Mister José? Ay, ojalá que sí. Yeah, for sure. No Mister. quiero que me la quite. Me la quite. No me quiten, le pues. Eh, no. Yeah. No, for sure no. Yeah. Esperemos que no, esperemos que no. Mr. José, ¿cuál es su pregunta? I know. Nice. Me too. I want to, yes. I want to continue. ¿Qué pasa si no, no hacemos la presentación? Ay, le pongo cero. Esa es nota de examen. Para que Ese, ok, ok. Esa es su nota, esa es mi, esa es mi carta para que usted pase, ¿ok? No es algo que esté con Insafor o que sea nota de, de, de evaluado ni nada, sino que esa es la última prueba que yo les hago. ¿Por qué? Porque we have been studying a lot, ¿ok? Esa es mi evaluación para ustedes. So, how can Se sacó cero. Ajá. <laughs> That's my evaluation. Se sacó cero. Eso no va a ir que en la nota de Insafor ni nada, sino que esa es mi práctica, esa es mi práctica final. ¿Ok? Así evalúo yo cómo su desempeño, ¿verdad? Cómo va y todo. Le doy feedback, le corrijo y todo. Así que no hay problema. Eso no va evaluado ahí en el certificado, ¿verdad? Se sacó cinco en la presentación ahora. No. But it's, it's, it's for you to practice, ¿ok? That's Será solo usted la que va a estar ahí, no hay nadie más de parte de, de Lisafor o alguien parecido. No, sus clases no están grabadas. Your classes are public. No, it's only me. Aquí le puede ver hasta el presidente la clase, no hay problema. Queda grabado y en YouTube. So, it's public. Oh, let's... Yeah, you, you can find the classes in YouTube. Ahí están ustedes en YouTube. Sí. Ahí se pueden buscar en la lista de... Ya, yeah, you, you are very famous. You are very famous there. Let's see. My teacher is famous. Ya. Yeah. We are very, very famous everywhere. Ok, Dalila, tell me. Teacher, eh, siempre van a tener los certificados eh, conforme vaya el módulo o de un solo cuando terminemos todos los módulos. Ok, uh, let's, wait, espérenme, ahí está, eh, ok, I don't really know, I think you are getting one, siempre, casi siempre se obtenía uno después de cada módulo, y creo que así sigue, así que esperemos que así sea, ok. Y, y eso es entregado en la empresa, eh, o hay que ir a algún lugar a traerlo. No, 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 ese llega a su correo. Si les van a dar mensual, se lo envían al correo. Y si no, pues ellos les van a ir diciendo cómo se los van a ir entregando. Eso sí, no tengo, pero puedo preguntar, a ver cómo les van a dar sus certificados. Ok. And I am looking for the attendance and I cannot find it. Ok. Wait, 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 wait. Voy a abrir la asistencia nada más y continuamos. And ya los mando a dormir, no tengan pena. Pero como me puse a platicar con usted, ya no abrí la asistencia. <laughs> so, eh, yes, I, I will ask. Puedo preguntar, Dalila, a ver que cómo les van a, cómo van a hacer el proceso de certificación. I think you are going to get one. I think you are going to get it. That's the most common one that you, that you get your certificate. That you get it on paper. Hopefully you will get it on paper. Ojalá se los den impresos. Excelente. That, yeah, that would be fantastic. That would be really, really good. And, ah, hoy sí, ya lo encontré. 
and the class. I am hey Edwin and Steven didn't come today. We are missing Edwin. Alma Lila. I am present teacher. <laughs> that was good. Pobre Alma Dalila ahí con el alma jugando con ella. Alba Leticia. Presente. Antonio José. Cristian Mauricio. Edwin Steven. He's not here. Evelyn Janet. Presente. Janet Tatiana. Es el teacher. José Heriberto. Catherine Elizabeth. Catherine Lisbeth. Leticia Magdalena. Ilse Marlene. Luz de Jesús. Is not here. Eh, Joana Mariela. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, I will see you on Monday, my dear class. Have a beautiful night. Rest a lot. Have a wonderful weekend. And practice for I, practice for your presentation on Monday. Okay? Have a good night. And I'm going to see you on Monday for the last class. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good care. night, teacher. Have a beautiful Bye. night. Bye-bye.